Welcome to PixEdit.com Advanced Tutorial for Removal of Unwanted Background Color. You can remove an unwanted background color both manually and automatically during scanning. Unwanted colored background in scanned documents is normally caused by a scanner out of adjustment, or simply, as in the example you see now on the screen, an old yellowed paper original. In this video, we will show how to remove this discoloration. Such a task can, of course, be executed automatically in an after-scanning profile, but more about this towards the end of this video. First, we will show how to manually remove a background color. It's natural to consider using Color Balance and or the Contrast tool. However, this will also affect the color of graphics that you don't want to change. To remove a background color, you will find it easier and quicker to use Image, Colors, Drop Out Color. Before using the function for dropping out a specific color, we need to define which color to remove. The most efficient way to define a color is to use the color picker. We activate the color picker and drag out an area that mostly contains the color we would like to remove. It does not matter if other colors are included in the indicated area as long as the color we want dominates. We could have also clicked once, instead of dragging out an area, to indicate the color of a specific single pixel. But in this case, it was better to let the color picker choose the most common color inside the indicated area. We are ready to remove the indicated or picked color from the document. Often, it's natural to remove the background from an entire page. However, here we will drop out the background color in a selected area just to show you almost all types of functions in PixEdit can be executed inside selected areas. To start, we activate the Selected Area tool and drag out a random area where we want to remove the indicated color. Now we have indicated both the color to be removed as well as the area from where we want to drop the color. Let's use Image, Colors, Drop Out Color. The drop out color dialog displays the most common color in the area we indicated using the color picker. Notice the dialog offers to remove an indicated color within a defined tolerance. A typical background normally varies by 4 to 6 percent. Be careful not to use a higher tolerance than necessary, as a high tolerance may result in removal of graphics you want to keep. Click OK to remove the background color inside the selected area. Perhaps you would like to remove a background color on all pages during scanning. If so, simply record this job, after having selected all pages in Composition View, into a macro as shown in an earlier video, and then specify the macro to be executed in the After Scanning profile. If you often need to remove more than one color, simply repeat the color picking and color dropping operation as many times as you like while you record the process in a macro.